Hello friends, this is Professor Mandar, Mandar Bhanushe from the Institute of Distance and Open Learning, University of Mumbai. On behalf of this institute and the university, I welcome all of you who have decided to join this two and a half month course with the name Quantitative Techniques for Information Technology. Friends, in this course we are going to cover some portion of uh, numerical analysis which is required for IT people and the remaining syllabus will be covering topics from basically from statistics. So what are the things which we are going to cover? So we are going to have the, the entire course divided into six units, you can call them six modules and uh, out of these six, two will be on numerical analysis and the remaining four will be on statistics. So let us go about how it is going to be. Your unit one, the first topic is going to cover errors. So there are various types of errors which we make when we count things. So we are going to talk about errors, relative errors and also on percentage errors. Then we are going to discuss about the solutions of algebraic and transcendental equations basically using three methods, bisection method, method of false position and newton raphson method. Then we are going to cover interpolation topic which is going to cover about forward differences and backward differences. Two formulas, Newton's forward backward difference interpolation formula and Lagrange's interpolation formula. This is what we are going to do in the first unit. In the second unit we are going to find, uh, we are going to use two methods to find the solution of uh, simultaneous algebraic linear equations which are iterative methods. Number one is Gauss-Jordan method and the other one is Gauss-Seidel method. Then we are going to do three topics from numerical integration. One is the trapezoidal rule, the second is the Simpson's one-third rule and third one is the Simpson's three-eighth rule that is to find the area under a given, under a given curve. So this comes under numerical integration. Then we have a numerical solution of first and second order differential equations. We have Taylor series, Euler's method, the modified Euler's method, Runge Kutta method for first and second order differential equations. So this is what we are going to cover in the unit 2. In unit 3 we are going to cover, this is where our statistics is going to start. So our first two units were on numerical analysis and now we are going to start with statistics. So initially the preliminary part of statistics, what are the different types of data, what do you mean by mean, variance, measures of skewness and kurtosis based on moments. Then we will be going about bivariate data, covariance, correlation, two types of correlation coefficients, Carl Pearson's and Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Then we are going to move ahead to regression. We would like to know what are regression coefficients and how to derive the equations of lines of regression. And finally in unit 3 we have fitting of curves topic which is going to cover least square method and how to fit a straight line and a parabolic curve. So these are the topics which we are going to cover in the third unit. In unit 4 we are going to move ahead in statistics to the topic in probability. We will start with discrete and continuous random variables. What is the probability density function? Then the probability distribution of random variables, expected value, variance, relation between raw moments and central moment. Then we'll move ahead to distributions, discrete distributions first, uniform, binomial, Poisson distribution. Then to continuous distributions, exponential distribution. And finally to normal distribution, its properties and its applications. So this is what we are going to cover in the fourth unit. In the fifth unit, we are going to discuss mainly about the central limit theorem, its statement only and the problems based on this theorem. We are going to see about the sampling distributions for sample mean, difference in the sample means, sample proportion and difference in the sample proportions. We are going to know about what is the test of hypothesis, what do you mean by level of significance, critical region and what are one tailed and two tailed test in statistics. Then the test of significance for large samples, then the student's t distribution and its application. And finally in unit 5 we have the interval estimation of population. In unit 6 that is the last unit of syllabus we are going to cover chi-square distribution and its application, test of goodness of fit and independence of attributes, the contingency table and also about the Yates correction. Then we'll move ahead to the linear optimization problems. How do we form a linear programming problem? and how do we solve it graphically. We are also going to 
briefly move around the simplex method basic solution and feasible solution and the primal simplex method there are various uh, reference books available i am going to list a very few of them so one is the elements of applied mathematics volume 1 and 2 by p n and j n vertical the other is engineering mathematics by s s shastri the third one is applied numerical methods for engineers using scilab and c uh, basically in this entire six units of uh, numerical analysis and statistics we are going to link all these topics which we are going to cover with the free open source software scilab so we are also going to simultaneously do things practicals on scilab problems we will be solving using scilab in this entire course and the last topic is fundamentals of mathematical statistics by s c gupta and v k kapoor this is about the reference books at the end of the entire course finally we have to attempt the exam our exam will be of 100 marks it will be a semester and theory examination there will be seven questions the question number 1 will be of 10 marks which will be comprising of the entire syllabus from question 2 to question 7 each will be of 15 marks and they will be having questions from unit 1 to unit 6 respectively there will be internal options in all these questions and in addition to this 100 marks semester and examination will be having a practical exam on scilab for 30 marks and the lab work and journal shall also carry additional 20 marks so that brings about 250 marks in your paper of quantitative techniques that is the paper 4 in the semester 4 of bsc it so friends let us get up for the lectures and a reminder that our lectures are going to start from february 2nd 2013 and it will be twice a week on saturdays sundays timing is already displayed on the viz iq website all these lectures will be conducted through viz iq we are very thankful to the viz iq team and also to the team efforts in the institute of distance and open learning our deputy director dr chari our honorable vice chancellor dr rajan velukar and the entire staff supporting staff of idol on behalf of them i once again welcome all of you and request you to call your friends and join this online series on quantitative techniques for information technology thank you